welcome back to a new video mm, i'm quite excited about this so this box came from nail and beauty excellence jade barber she is an amazing nail tech she's got her own website which is nailandbeautyexcellence.com and she kindly sent me some stuff which i was really excited to try this is all of the social media links for her and her website there is at the top so make sure you go and follow them there because you, yeah you're missing out if you don't so inside the box they kindly sent a um an acrylic starter kit which i'm not going to use in this video i'm going to do another video in fact i'm probably going to do at least another two videos because i've only used the gel polish in this video and i want to try everything <laughs> so this is the acrylic starter kit you can get these on the website inside there is also some love heart sweets <laughs> love love hearts i don't like the taste of them i just think they're the cutest sweets ever there was two two in there as well like i found another one which was great because i've got two boys so i gave the boys one each <laughs> no arguing then <laughs> uh right also inside is a selection of gel polishes now when i first opened the box i wasn't sure um but i did look on the website because i just wanted to check everything like i just wanted to see that i knew like if there was anything that i needed to know i thought right i'll look on the website so this these are actually part of a collection called the vintage dusk collection but you can also buy the gel polishes individually which is one of the things that i just wanted to make sure that i knew about so they do come as collections but you can buy them individually you get six in the vintage dusk collection and then there is another one there called on the raz which is actually part of the party time collection oh it's amazing that one i just you oh, honestly i'll show you in a minute there's also a top coat in there as well and then there are some 4d play gels which are like the plasticine gel that you can get this like the sculpting gels i'm really excited to try these and then there's some string gel which you may also know as spider gel we're going to use this that in in the video today these are the colors from the vintage dusk collection for now ignore on the raz because that's part of a different one but that first one i showed you was called historic this one is called antique i think i've got that right then this one is called timeless i really like this color oh i also really like i'll show you another one hang on um oh this one's nice as well this one's called epoch it's like a purpley blue like a sort of muted purpley blue this one is called era it's kind of like a salmony color and this one oh this one's called heirloom i really like these like kind of slightly muted still quite bright colors for leaving summer and going into fall i really like those this is on the raz oh, i just couldn't stop looking at this it's so gorgeous i bet the other colors in the party time collection are just as sparkly and gorgeous as that one oh, oh. so i'm now going in to start the design i'm only going to do four nails sorry for those that like five i just couldn't yeah i just done four <laughs> So for this design, we're going to do like some color blocking. So the middle section is going to be our era color. And I'm going to do two coats of this. So I'm going to cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I will go ahead and apply a second coat. Then I'm going to use historic and antique. And then I decided also to add some on the Raz as well. But we're going to do animal print using your dotting tool. This is just such an easy design to do. I feel like you can rarely go wrong when you do this. It's just pips. Leave a bit of gap. I didn't leave enough space. So this bit was quite cramped on, on this part of the nail. But I'm going to add some blobs of historic. And then I'm going to add some blobs of on the raz. I thought the gold was just going to be a bit nice to break up the design. And also add a little bit of glam because <laughs> it's so sparkly to the set so i'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then clean off the dotting tool 
but then again using the dotting tool just dip it into the darker color which is our antique which is a very dark muted purple and we're just going to use this to outline the dollops so you don't you kind of want to like i was sort of wiggling my dotting tool when i went around the outside of the dollops the blobs but you want to do it so that the they don't meet the the, the outline the outline wobbly lines curves they don't need to meet each side you need to leave a gap so you see what i'm doing there there's one that side and one that side and i'm just randomly just yeah so like on, on one blob the lines might be at the top and the bottom on the other blob the lines might be you know left and right you just make it a bit random I don't know if that's what they're like in real life but that's what I like to do and then in between I, look this is where I didn't leave myself enough room I'm just going to add some smaller random blobs of gel polish it's not even a blob it's like a little dab of gel polish there we go that's all I'm going to do and then that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds for the top and the bottom of the nail i'm gonna use timeless so this is right when you've got like a massive selection of gel polishes like me sometimes there'll be colors that i wouldn't think to put together like these for instance and um, the whole the whole color combination that i've used here is not really one that i would have thought to put together but i was like when i'd finished the set i was like these colors actually look really nice <laughs> So yeah, it's nice when things like this happen because you, yeah. So look, this is the, for those of you that don't know what like spider gel or string gel is, it looks like a gel, but it's really stringy. It's like, I kind of want to go boing, boing, boing like, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, I'm going to use this to, where the colours meet, I'm going to put some random, slightly diagonal lines across where the colours meet. So yeah if you are not completely neat where your colors meet then it won't matter because this kind of string gel is gonna sort of hide where they meet do you know what i mean oh sorry i needed to burp um i've just drunk some some cherry diet cherry coke by the way i don't normally drink coke i am a pepsi person which i'm trying to cut down on but i do it is sugar free though it's not just because it's sugar free it's not any better than the rubbish stuff it's just got less sugar in it but it's still got rubbish in it anyway i have come to the conclusion that cherry coke is mank it's like a watered down version of cherry pepsi max i love cherry pepsi max it's just the best <laughs> but i'm trying to wean myself off it because i know it's not good for me and i'm trying i'm on a bit of a health kick at the moment with my couch to 5k and all that so don't drink cherry coke that's what i was just what yeah <sighs> The top coat, by the way, was really nice. I don't know what it was about the top coat. I don't know whether it was the consistency or just how it applied or what, but I really liked the top coat. That's all I'm saying. This next nail, um, also, I wouldn't have top coated then. I probably would have top coated at the end of the video. I would have done them all together. But when I was started this set, I didn't really know what I was going to do it. I didn't know, sorry, what I was going to do. So this was a kind of wing it set. And I feel like it turned out okay, which I, I was quite pleased with it. But I decided to add these, these, de these, oh, I can't speak. These decals are from Nail Sugar. Um, I felt like they went really well with the colours that I'd chosen to do in this set. So I grabbed a rainbow and I grabbed two of the hearts. Now the rainbow, if you look really closely, it's actually got animal print through it as well. So I was like, oh, I just feel like they was like a match made in heaven. I've cut out the decal and I usually cut off away the the random not the random the any excess so i kind of i'm left with as much of just as the design design as possible pop it on a stamper moisten the back with some water and then after several seconds the backing will slide off if i was to stamp it now though it would look dull on the on the nail because of the color that i've chosen like if you're going to stamp it on white it's great but if it's not white then i would suggest just covering the back of the the decal with some gel polish cure it in the lamp and then stamp it on your nail and as you can see here it just looks so much brighter and you can actually see it on the nail now <coughs> there is some uh, little little hairs i didn't clean my 
stamper. I normally just go over my stamper with a bit of sellotape, but I didn't do that, which was a bit silly. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the hearts. I've also added some white gel polish behind them and cured it, and then I'm going to stamp them on. I'm putting one below the rainbow and one above the rainbow. Obviously, you don't have to do this. You can do whatever you want. You don't even have to use the decals if you don't want to. By the way, if you do want to buy the decals, you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. Um... Yeah, all my webs all the websites of the products that I use, plus any discount codes that I have will always be down in the description box anyway. I am also gonna add um Jade's website down below so you can go and have a look at the things that she does. She's got online courses as well, and her nails are amazing. Just saying. So do yeah, make sure you go and check check out the website i've gone around the outside of the decals i just felt like they looked a little bit i don't know what it was i felt like they looked a bit tatty i'm not quite sure why i think it was because of my gel polish underneath but putting the gold border on i just felt made them look so much nicer and also it tied that nail in with the animal print now because it had the gold through it as well i think i don't know this next nail, I'm starting with two coats of Era. I actually forgot to hit record while I was doing the first coat, so I thought I'd show you me applying the second coat. Look how beautifully this just, look. Oh, it's just so smooth and lovely. I really like these gel polishes. I hate it when this happens, because then I go on the website and I'm thinking, oh, what one shall I buy? And I've got no money. <laughs> so I can't buy any, but I would love to buy loads. There's a really, oh, there's some really nice collections they've got as well. <sighs> stop looking i've got i've got the website open here now i'm looking at the gel polish i shouldn't do it right stop that stop looking so this nail i decided i was going to do a full nail of the animal print nail so i'm starting out now remember when you're doing this if you want to use the gold as well you need to leave room for your gold dollops yeah you can also cure those dot those dark those light brown dots first before you move in with the sec with the gold ones sometimes my brain doesn't work properly with my mouth and i'm saying things in my head i'm in my head is like i'm saying it fine but my mouth just doesn't <laughs> it doesn't doesn't come out how i think it in my head <laughs> does anyone else get that oh <sighs> yeah so i've cured those and then around the outside of the dollops i'm adding those wiggly curves and again just using your dotting tool it just it's a really easy animal print design to do and also i don't know if it's just me but i feel like animal prints like a really nice cut like a nice design to do in like the fall because or autumn depends where you're from you might call it autumn you might call it fall because they're kind of like like brown colors aren't they they're i just yeah Though that said, I've seen some really gorgeous summer animal print nails done with like neon colours and they look equally nice. I know some people just aren't fans of animal print, but again, it's like each to their own, isn't it? So yeah, once I've gone around all of the bigger dollops with the wiggly lines, arches, curves, whatever you want to call them, I will go in then with the dotting tool to make some little dabs just like little random i did leave myself a bit more room this time as well which was quite good of me <laughs> pat on the back that's pat on the back there we go like that but once i'm happy with all my dollops and my dabs i will pop it in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and then i think i'm going to top coat it again no, I don't. I do top coat it, but I, for some reason I don't think I show you me doing that one, which is a bit weird. Uh, so this one, I'm going in with a coat of our Historic Gel Polish. Look, it just covers really nicely. And she did say they you only need thin coats of these. And yeah, I have to agree, you do, because it just covers really nicely. This is a blooming gel that I'm going to use. I don't know if there is a blooming gel on the Nail and Beauty Excellence website. I'm not sure. But uh, I've lost what I was going to say. Yeah, I don't know if there's a blooming gel. But I'm going to do a marble using some of the colours. So I'm going to do like lines of the colours. And then I'm going to run through the colours with a dotting tool. I've put some blooming gel on the nail. And then I'm going to scoop up the colours on the palette 
and float them over the blooming gel and just let it bloom a little bit <clears throat> and also when you're doing marbles I well this is what I do I will take a lint free wipe before I've cured it and I will push it up gently up the side of the nail and then I'm going to slowly pull away the wipe and hope like if you've done it right well there's no right or wrong but if you've done it how you intend what's going to happen is it's going to help the marble spread but also it's going to push the design down the side of the nail because sometimes i've done this i've pushed the wipe up against the nail and there's a whole plain bit down the side of the nail where i've taken too much of the gel polish away but can you see i'm just really slowly pulling it off and also as well it's going to remove any excess gel polish that you might have sometimes when you're doing marbles like this you can cure the gel polish and when you've got too much gel on the nail what's happened is it's only cured the top layer of gel polish and the underneath doesn't cure and you're left with wrinkling so you just bear that in mind right i'm going to top coat that now and then pop that into the lamp and that is them that is all four of the nails done obviously you have to think of a fifth one because i can't but i'll show you a quick close-up <laughs> that is them done i'm gonna leave jade's website down below so you can go and check her website out uh, but i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing you can also if you want to become a channel member but all the information will be down in the description box uh i think that's it god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye <laughs>